Door. Introduction. On the outside of the door, starting from the bottom, we can see from the left the hot water wand, the pouring nozzle, and the steam wand. We can also see the housing for an optional auto steam nozzle probe. In the top part, we have the button pad and the display. On the right side of the button pad, there is a USB port. Inside the door, at the top, is the flat wire connecting the display, while in the centre, to the left, is the steam inlet tube. On the right, the hot water tube, and in the centre, the guide to move the nozzle with the guides for the tube. The service engineer will need the following tools. Phillips head screwdriver, 2.5mm Allen key, and a 7mm wrench. Display and button pad. It's possible to access the display and button pad by moving the frame up, removing the membrane and disconnecting the flat wires. Using a Phillips head screwdriver. It's possible to remove the display board, taking out the four screws and then the flat wire connecting to the main circuit board. Pouring nozzle, tunnel and guides. The pouring nozzle is located in the front of the machine. The service engineer will need to switch off the machine and unhook the plastic lid from the pouring nozzle. The pouring nozzle contains the cappuccino maker with the inlet pipe for the steam in Teflon at the top and the milk pipe in white silicone on the right. The blue pipe is for coffee while the red pipe is to add hot water. To replace a pipe inside the pouring nozzle, the engineer will need to open the front door and unhook the plastic lid from the pouring nozzle. To remove the milk pipe, for example, unhook it from the cappuccino maker and push it inwards, pulling the other end. To refit the pipe, put it back into the guide and thread it out through the corresponding hole in the front panel. Ground drawer and micro. Open the door and remove the ground drawer. There is a magnet inside the drawer that closes a micro inside the machine. The micro signals the presence of the ground drawer. Steam and hot water wands. To remove the steam wand, it's necessary to slide out the red steam pipe. Remove the three hex head screws with a 2.5mm wrench and then slide off the wand and the fitting from the front panel. In the picture, we can see all of the parts of the wand, especially the Teflon seal, which makes wand movement more rigid in line with the tightness of the lock screws. It's therefore possible to adjust wand rigidity. To remove the hot water wand, it's necessary to slide out the red pipe located inside the door. Remove the three 2.5mm hex head screws, being sure to support the glass before removing the last screw. The wand can be removed from the front of the machine. In the picture, it's possible to see all of the parts of the wand, especially the Teflon seal, which makes wand movement more rigid in line with the tightness of the lock screws. Glass replacement. To remove the right-hand glass, it's necessary to remove the steam wand. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the bottom part of the front door.
The glass is attached to the door via bayonet fitting and can be removed by sliding it downwards. Remember to support the glass by the hole for the steam wand to prevent it from accidentally falling. To remove the left glass, it's necessary to remove the hot water wand and before removing the last screw securing the wand, be sure to support the glass. Hinges To remove the fixed hinges, take out the two support screws with a screwdriver. The height of mobile hinges can be adjusted using the two screws. The central screw serves to make lengthways adjustments. To remove the door with adjustable hinges, take out the screw inside the hinge and then release it, pulling out the door.